everybody, it's Rainshine here, and today I found out how to decorate our kingdom. There's so much cool stuff we can do, so I want to show you some of the options so everybody can help me decide what the kingdom looks like. So I come in this menu, and as you can see, I have my cannon towers, our cannon towers, set up for defense. But if we click the customize button, there's so much we can do. The roofs, for example... There's this gorgeous light blue palette, a red and gold, a darker blue palette, and then an emerald green. Also pay attention to the prices down here. They're pretty expensive. We don't have the money right now. Um, we need to save up for upgrades, but at some point, we're going to start decorating our kingdoms. So start thinking about what you want. Let me know. So for the walls, again, I think they kind of tie into the, how the roofs, roofs looked. We've got a blue with gold, a red and gold, a yellow and green. That almost looks emerald, like that fourth roof. And then similar one, but just without the border. So I guess this blue goes with the two blue roofs. Alright, then we can look at... These statues are so cute. There's tons of places for these around the kingdom. There's a frog king, a fox, a raccoon, and a mermaid, I think? <laughs> the frog queen? Fish queen? <laughs> Alright, then there's some beautiful flowers we can plant throughout the kingdom. I would like to do these seasonally if we could, like for autumn have red, in the spring have pink, and then maybe in the winter have these, and then summer have these. But, you know, whatever y'all like the best. Oh, I'm noticing it changes them in the background too, not only here, but if you look over here, there's more like behind our kingdom. So that's cool, I think it'll just affect the area, which is awesome. Okay, so then if we look at over here, we've got different flooring. So there's like a blue tile, um, plain white diagonals, gray and white tile with stars, and then another like mosaic white. This is what we have right now. Going back to it, it looks so dingy, right? I didn't think so before. <laughs> Alright, now I love this part. The little floor patterns that go, that are like streets, look how gorgeous. So I'll call this flower blue. This is red and gold. This is the emerald one. And then this is like a royal blue. Alright, let's see what else we got. Um, I have a feeling these will be similar. Yeah, you can just do them for each area. So maybe, like, we could do the blacksmith shop, one decoration with roofs of one color, and, you know, the flooring patterns to match or something, and then the cooking area could be different. Maybe this could be red, and, and this could be blue, you know, but y'all help me decide. Let's click the plants over here. Yeah, similar plant situation. All right, and then we got more statues going over there. Floor pattern here. I'm looking for anything new. Looking for anything we haven't checked out before. Oh, here's the fountain in our newest area from level 10 kingdom. A pretty fish fountain. We could afford this now, actually. I don't know what else we have to spend kingdom prism on. I have only seen one recipe for it, and I bought it. Uh, here's a red and gold one. Ooh, I like this. It's got a turtle at the bottom, and it's like a flower. So there's a turtle one. Don't let my um, preferences influence you, though. And then here's like an elegant-looking kingdom one. And again, pay attention to the prices. <laughs> Some of them we can get sooner than others. Alright, um... And that might be it. Yep, thanks so. Alright, thank you everybody for checking it out. 
Let me know in the chat what you're interested in. And we'll start decorating! I'm so excited!